Late Night was lit. Nicki Minaj made Stephen Colbert blush, while Ariana Grande slays Celine Dion. Plus today we got a rare glimpse of Beyonce's babies. Guys, the claws are out today between Nicki Minaj and ex Safari Samuels, and it's all playing out like an episode of Maury on Twitter. The heated back and forth started brewing after Nicki dropped some bombshells about her history with Safari during an interview with Funk Master Flex on Hot 97. Everybody on the inside of the industry knows that I write my lyrics and knows that I that I put so much um, weight on women writing. And then for one person to do something like this to me out of sheer weakness and passive aggression and just hatefulness and vindictiveness. I don't because you because you got caught on a person that was taking care of you for years and years because you got caught on a person who was taking care of you uh -huh. while you were paying for prostitutes and doing all types and stealing their credit cards and doing all types of dumb um hold up <laughs> <laughs> oh yes uh the former couple broke up in 2014 but it sounds like these wounds cut deep because that's when safari tweeted Remember the night you cut me and I almost died? The police and ambulance had to take me out the crib on a stretcher and I had to lie and tell them I was trying to kill myself so they wouldn't take you to jail. When things like that start happening more than once, it's time to dip. Well, Nikki fired back. You stole my card and told me you thought it was an account with free money that I didn't know about. On God, God will strike you down and more for lying. Ha, stop saying you packed and left. On Jesus, you came to my house crying, begging to go with me to Europe to the EMAs. I said, no dummy. And that is just a taste of their heated claims. Uh, among the most savage of Nikki's clapbacks was her admitting she never should have paid to fix his hairline and quote, God don't like ugly. <laughs> you guys can head over to etonline.com to see that hot mess back and forth. I don't know what to believe. All right, but Nikki says she's switching back to the positive stuff about her new album, Queen, so I'm gonna do the same. The rapper hit the late show with Stephen Colbert to promote the new music, and not even censors could keep Nicki from spitting some game to her favorite late night host with this flirty version of Barbie Dreams. I might Stephen after the show. He gonna come back to work with a magical glow, but. Still broadcasting? I you wasn't. I wasn't done, Stephen. All right. And, and then the ending says, "But when you see us, please don't stare. Just address me as Queen Nikki Colbert." Come through, Queen Nikki Colbert. This is gold. I've literally been dying over this all day, you guys. Uh, and if that wasn't enough late night goodness, Nikki's pal Ariana Grande surprised the late, late show audience with this epic Titanic tribute with James Corden. It's one take, 13 cover songs, and five minutes, and this closer. King of the world! Oh, thank you, Rick. My Jack. Love you. All right, that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks, because tomorrow is her carpool karaoke where Corden will belt out the Ariana lyrics he just memorized, and we'll find out how Grande's left hand, yes, the one with that $93,000 engagement ring from Pete Davidson, wound it up bandaged. But we're switching gears now to Beyonce. She recently covered Vogue's September issue, and it was apparently take your kids to work day for the mom of three. Vogue shared a behind the scenes video of the shoot with photographer Tyler Mitchell. And not only did the Hive get to see Queen Bee let loose like never before, we also got a rare glimpse of the Carter kids, Blue, Rumi, and Sir, who are all on the set. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys, okay? Uh, that might be the tightest close up in cinematic history, but as we learned from a source close to Beyonce and Jay-Z, the proud parents want to show their kids under their own terms and when they feel like it. But can't you tell the siblings have a lot of love for each other? The cutest, all right. 
Guys, tonight is the first night of live shows for America's Got Talent. I'll be on the carpet with the first batch of contestants, as well as judges Simon, Heidi, Mel, Howie, and host Tyra Banks. So I'll have that for you tomorrow. In the meantime, be sure to take a look back at our favorite auditions from this season. All right, bye, you guys.